So your company has 500 gigabytes of documents in their server, and you are asked to connect an AI assistant just like ChatGPT to answer questions about these documents. And you think to yourself, man, how am I supposed to get this done? From your experience, you know that typical chat applications can't accept more than a dozen files. So you have to use a different method to allow the AI to search, read, and understand the entire files. So is it possible that instead of searching through the entire 500 gigabytes of documents, we essentially store these documents by preserving the semantics, which means meaning of those words, into a vector embedding and store those into a database as vectors. And if we can do that, maybe we can retrieve these faster by splitting the context into chunks in the vector database so that AI assistants can fit them into their context window and generate output from it. This method is called RAG or retrieval augmented generation. Let's say one of the use cases for the company to use the AI assistant was to ask questions like, can you tell me about last year's service agreement with CodeCloud? In order to understand how RAG works, we need to break them down into three different steps, retrieval, augmented, and generation. Starting with retrieval, just like how we converted the documents into vector embeddings to store them into the database, we do the exact same step for the question that reads, can you tell me about last year's service agreement with CodeCloud? Once the word embedding for the question is generated, the embedding for the question is compared against the embedding of the documents. This type of search is called semantic search, where instead of searching by static keywords to find relevant contents based on its matching, the meaning and the context of the query is used to match against the existing document. Moving on to augmentation. Augmentation in RAG refers to the process where the retrieved data is injected into the prompt at runtime. And you might think, why is this all that special? Typically, AI assistants rely on what they learn during pre-training, which is static knowledge that can become outdated really fast. Instead, our goal here is to have the AI assistant rely on up-to-date information in the vector database. So on runtime, we need to be able to provide the AI assistant with important details that could help answer the question like above. In the case of RAG, the semantic search result appends to the prompt that essentially serves as an augmented knowledge. So for your company, the AI assistant is given details about your company's documents that are real, up-to-date, and private data set. All of this can occur without needing to fine-tune the AI model and modify the large language model. The final step of RAG is generation. This step is where AI assistant generates the response given the semantic relevant data retrieved from the vector database. And we have an up upcoming video on Vector Database soon, so make sure to subscribe to be notified when the video is out. So the initial prompt that says, can you tell me about last year's service agreement with CodeCloud? The AI assistant will now demonstrate its understanding of your company's knowledge base by using the documents that relate to service agreements and CodeCloud.